Hi guys, welcome to another new video. The Elevate Wings 1 registration for May 2025 has uh, begun. This cycle comes with a few important changes and updates uh, that you need to be aware of. I have gathered all the key information for you. So without wasting any more time, let's uh, get into our video. And in this video, we will cover all the key details for the Wings 1 May 2025 cycle, uh, which includes the eligibility criteria, important dates, courses that are available and newly updated policies, which are very important to focus on and uh, eligibility track combination. So if you are uh, new to Wings 1 program, I want you to carefully watch the video till the end. So you'll get all the required information uh, to proceed for the Wings 1 journey. And uh, let's uh, get straight into the topic for the eligibility criteria to be eligible for the Wings 1 program. Uh, every associate, I mean, like uh, an associate should have an appraisal band of A or B. Okay, an uh, associate should have an appraisal band of A or B. Or if you are yet to receive any performance band or appraisal band, uh, those associates anniversary rating four or B, uh, four or five is also okay. If an associate who are yet to receive any appraisal band, if they have any anniversary rating which is of uh, four or five, that is also okay. You are eligible. Or for the associates who don't have an appraisal band or any anniversary rating. Uh, these conditions are mostly applicable for the associates who haven't completed uh, even one year in the institute. So they don't need to worry about appraisal band or anniversary rating. Their uh, IE value learning completion on the tracks which they want to appear for the exam. Those learning completions is just enough to be eligible for the Wings 1 assessment. And uh, here are the key dates to keep in uh, mind for the Wings 1 May 2025 cycle. Uh, these used to be 31st March. I mean, uh, these dates used to be 31st March and 15th April. These have been uh, extended. So let's see. The learning completion for core track was extended to 11th April 2025. And uh, assessment registration was also extended till 11th April 2025. So we guys have a lot of uh, time to uh, complete the learning and uh, completing those courses and we can uh, register till 11th of April 2025 and uh, for the candidates who are planning for an external certification for the step two uh, they need to complete the certification upload it and get it approved by 15th of June 2025 okay so this is uh, very I mean I can say this is a lot of plenty of time for completing an external certification and keep this date in mind because we have few more points to discuss on external certification in the next upcoming slides and domain learning completion is also uh, have a date till 15th of June 2025 so domain learning is mandatory for every associate uh, the domain learning courses was available in the course ID of wings one so you can choose any of the course and complete it. The deadline is 15th of June 2025. And these dates were off as of 18th of March 2025. As I said, uh, these dates were extended. So previously it used to be 31st March and 15th April. These were extended till 11th April and 15th June. Okay, I think these don't these dates won't be extended anymore. So these uh, uh, fix these dates in mind and please complete your learnings and what are all things you need to complete. Okay and uh, next thing the courses what we have are uh, these are the list of courses that are available for wings one journey so i hope uh, you are aware of uh, the course ids for it and ITAS. it's 1520 for it and 15206 for itis well coming to the full stack tech tracks uh, you can see for the tracks uh, t1 to t15 are the core full stack tech tracks and uh, b1 b2 process or the non-tech tracks and while coming to the articulation articulation is also a mandatory course which you need to complete along domain learning a uh, pass or a distinction is enough for articulation to complete your wings milestone so keep that in mind and uh, the unit or bg specific track list there's a course id 80840 please i want you to go through i mean for the new associates i want you to go through that course id 80840 so you will find a, a list of uh, technical i mean full stack tracks which are recommended by your unit or bg because all the units don't have are recommended by all these tracks like uh, there are uh, few units uh, which don't allow few tracks i mean they don't recommend few tracks those tracks were defined by their uh, project requirements and future scopes etc etc so i want you to go through those uh, specific track list course id 
and check which tracks are recommended by your unit and I want you to pick those tracks and complete your learning by the given cutoff dates. Okay, I hope you understand this. And uh, next one, uh, this uh, newly updated policies, which is very important one. Uh, first one is external certification validity. Like uh, the certifications, what we done and upload in IOL, those don't have any validity. Like uh, they have validity of one year and we can uh, renew them uh, every one year. So that is a different thing. But in the Wings journey, they have uh, brought this uh, new thing like uh, every external certification which was done as part of wings uh, they have a two years range validity like as this is 2025 the certifications which were done during 2023 may cycle may not be valid i mean they don't consider it uh, to be as part of a wings milestone if they were completed before 14th may 2023 you can uh, read the information from this snippet like uh, external certification that is part of approved list of wings one assessment and is in alignment with demand of the unit will be considered as valid for milestone rewards and only when the certification acquired date is within two years range before the cutoff date for may cycle which is 15th may and november cycle which is 15th november okay so the certifications which are done before 14th of may 2023 may not be valid for this may cycle 2025 and same follows for the november cycle also so if your certification is done post 15th may 2023 that may be valid only for this may cycle and won't be valid for upcoming november cycle so i want you to look into this certification also like if that was done in 2023 may so i want you to go to your unit recommended certifications list again and uh, complete any new certification so that will help you to regain uh, i mean retain the milestone eligibility for next two years also so that would be a good thing instead of relying on the same certification that was done which was done past two years ago right i hope you understand this point okay and uh, there are a few comments like can we pick any core tech tracks which are not unit or bg recommended okay like uh, there are a uh, few units which don't have all tech tracks recommended by them so only they have a few set of tracks so associate might not be interested in those tracks and they want to pick any other which of their interest but th those are not recommended by their unit so and can an associate pick such tracks so the answer is no uh, recently there is a town hall meeting of wings one i have uh, asked this question to them so they simply said no uh, because uh, the recommended track list was done based on the requirements and uh, so many reasons so they want uh, the associates to pick only recommended tracks from the team okay so i want you to pick only uh, unit or bg recommended tracks for wings one milestone okay and uh, this is the eligibility track combination as i said before uh, the articulation and domain learning completion is mandatory for all the associates okay uh, distinction or minimum pass should be attained by any candidate and while coming to the track one and track two an associate should pick any track and should gain distinction in that coming to the step two i mean track two uh, if you pick any full stack for a track one you should pick another full stack course other than the course you have selected in track one okay you should pick another full stack uh, course and you should attain distinction or pass is also enough or if you are picking any non-tech track so you should attain distinction okay or if you are going for any unit elective certification you should complete that uh, if you complete any unit elective certification that comes under distinction so there is no pass or distinction in unit elective certification okay so for track one you should be completing one core full stack with the distinction that is compulsory and for track two you should be attaining distinction if you pick any non-tech track or it should be pass or distinction for core full stack tech track while coming to the uh, pass criteria for any uh, for all the tracks you have selected uh, on the left side below you can see the associates with a 75 
percentile above 75 percentile will be awarded distinction and the associates with 50 to 75 range they will be awarded pass and anyone with uh, anyone below the 50th percentile will be not pass okay so i hope uh, you know this uh, percent and percentile thing i hope that clarifies okay and one more thing i'll be dropping my telegram group link in the description you can join there and you can post any of your queries or doubts anything uh, anyone from the group will answer you or uh, even i myself uh, reply you that's not an issue so hope you like the video and uh, summing up everything that's all we need to know about the wings one may 2025 cycle make sure you check your eligibility of the tracks uh, that are recommended by your unit or bg and uh, the certifications which are recommended by your unit again and all the dates uh, important dates that we have okay and uh, please always stay updated with the new policies because they may be changing anytime okay and if you found this uh, video helpful please don't forget to like and share and if you are new to this community and new to the tcs wings journey please do subscribe for more updates and thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one bye